So if you have the need or are monitoring a calendar, or you would like to send out a report of calendar events on a daily basis, just an email, you can certainly do that with this following video. And we're going to show you how to implement that within your environment. So stand by. So let's jump right into Power Automate. So here, I'm actually going to walk you through a template that I use here. Email, email me with a list of upcoming calendar events. So if you look for that template within your Power Automate environment, you should be able to find it. If for some reason it's not there, then you're going to need to add all of these occurrences, right? All of these these steps or actions. So here we stop start the trigger is a reoccurrence. So once a day and I have it scheduled here. Notice I've picked the time zone here and I've chosen 9 a.m. Now it says that it runs at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. every day. That's not exactly 9 a.m. It actually arrives, I think, at 9.52 a.m. So it's fashionably late, but it does work. Then you want to initiate these variables. Now, if you're using the template, you do not need to do anything with this flight variable or this hotel variable. But if you want to create this exactly like the template, you'll want to include these. And then here we're going to empty that. And these are just variables. But again, if you just want to get the basics, you don't need to do anything with this. Now, what I have done from the calendar event variable in the template, it actually includes the hotel and flight. I've gone ahead and just deleted those. The thing to remember here is notice the double quotes right there at the end, right? You don't want a comma behind that. So you want to make sure that the syntax is correct. Notice how it says location, double quotes, comma, and we just have current weather, double quotes. That means it's the end, right, of that collection for that variable. Then you want to select the calendar. Now, this is an important piece. You want to make sure that you have visibility to the calendar that you're selecting. So in Outlook, when you look at your calendars, make sure you have it. If you don't and you have access to this calendar, in this example, 800 VTC, then you can just add this to your calendar, add that calendar to your calendar. And then when you click on here, it's going to appear right there. All right. Then we're going to use a UTC start time, which is a standard expression. So no problems there. And then we're going to use an add days time. Now I took out the actual time. I'm just putting in 14 days just to go back. All right. So that's pretty simple. And then we're going to add and apply to each control, right? And here we're going to base it on value. And you can see it here and we're doing some checking related to the hotel and to the flight. Again, if you're not doing hotel and flight, this really isn't necessary. But if you want to follow the template exact, I've put it in there for your knowledge here. And then the weather. So the current weather, what we do is key in on the actual zip code of the area. This is a change from the template. So we're doing the zip code and then we're setting the calendar events. So here we've customized this format here and we've just dropped in the subject and the location fields and we've gone ahead and now remember these are from the Outlook calendar subject and location and then we formatted it with the following. So you can see format, date and time, apply to each, start and I'm only collecting the date. You can collect the time if you want as well, but I'm just collecting the date. And notice here, this is the start time. So that's when the, when the uh, meeting starts inside of the calendar. And then this is the end time, exactly the same. So you wanna create those. And then I've recreated those and the current weather. Now notice I've cut out the hotel as well as um, as well as the flight information. So then you can see here, you anytime the set calendar events variable, we've gone ahead and just put this in. If you keep everything that I have in here, it will work. So 
Here's the other one here. When we compose the weather, we're putting in this information. And then here, if no, we're putting in this information, which by the way, is exactly like this information pretty much. All right, except for location is missing, but you could put location on there if you wanted to. Okay, and then append to these variables. So I'm just gonna show them in the event again that you want to copy the template exactly like it is. And notice here, calendar events is the variable, right, that we set up here, initialize calendar event variable, okay? And then that's pretty easy as we go down through here. And then we're gonna do one more check here and we're gonna create the HTML file. So here, this is what you're gonna get in that email output. So let's go ahead and compose that email. And so here, we're just gonna use this replace comment here, expression, excuse me. And you can see the text there that you need to use. So it's important that you get all those commas and quotation marks in. So pause the video if you're just copying this. Now we're using a get my profile, which is just basically getting my default information. So if you notice here, um, you can, the field is male, right? And I'm collecting that field from my profile. That's what that indicates. And this is, I could not have this. I could just have and just put in my email address if I wanted to, but we're not doing that. Um, and then you can see there are other email addresses there. They're blanked out, but you can see. And then you'll want to just put in some form of a message here. And you can see that message there. <clears throat> and then the HTML code that you need to put in is listed right here. So you're going to want to, and you can, again, adjust this any way that you want. I'm just going based on their template. You can see the borders. The body is the outputs, and then that's it. That's all there is to really creating this, this ability to email you a list of upcoming calendar events.